Welcome back to Hidden Power. This is a Pokemon podcast. The Pokemon company has introduced a new company to work alongside them in the creation of new Pokemon games. There's a lot of implications with this, ranging from a new Pokemon release schedule all the way to brand new Pokemon games. We're going to be discussing all of this today, and my name is Dusty Go Go. Today I'm with the Lumios Post. Hello. And Soul Silver Art. What's up? How are you guys doing today? I gotta say, it's nice. I feel like we've been going lately because of all we've the been Legends cruising, man. and all. But it's nice now because we got like a more chill episode. Yeah, this is gonna vibe. be. A, it does feel that way. We're all gonna talk like this, and it's gonna be really relaxing today. Right. The Pokemon Company has formed what we're calling Pokemon Works. You want to give us the breakdown? Yeah. So we got uh, a trademark like was filed for a Pokemon Works, and then we learned that this was a company that was moving in the same that was going to be in the same building that ilka is located because for those who don't know ilka is in a different building from game freak so the people yeah. who make your pokemon scarlet and violet are not in the same building as the people who do pokemon home and uh pokemon brand diamond shining pearl and then we got the directors for the company and i don't remember specifically who the directors were but i know there were some from the pokemon company and there yes. were some from ilka so it's mm -hmm. it's like a co-op yeah it's interesting and it's purely good yeah. i think yeah we'll, we get into that for sure it's interesting that um it's like a subsidiary too mm -hmm. which i had to like really look up what, what it that means. totally is but it's it's like pokemon is like the parent company mm -hmm. and this is like underneath them kind of thing it's like it's hard to describe i mean you can look up exactly but which if i'm not mistaken is the Pokemon Company? I might have this backwards, but isn't the Pokemon Company a subsidiary of Game Freak and Nintendo? Like it's partly owned. It's mainly owned by Game Freak, but then it's partly owned by Nintendo. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know how that works. It is something like that, but I don't know who's on top of who. Yeah, that's that's what's <laughs> you know, kind of like, confusing me. A who's bit. over who is what I should say. I think the um, first initial question we got to ask ourselves, right, is like, why did they form this? It's jointly owned by Nintendo, Game Freak, and Creatures. The so then that would mean, yeah, so that would mean that you have Pokemon Works, which is owned by Ilka and owned by um, uh, the Pokemon Company, which is then owned by uh, Nintendo, Game Freak, and Creatures. Okay. So and someone then, make a then... like little tree, you know, make an organization <laughs> yeah. chart, and we'll like... And you, they, I think that... they all own us. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I mean, we're at the bottom. I'm we're at the bottom. them every year. So, <laughs> actually, we're probably not at the. Maybe we're at the very bottom. Us specifically, I, I think, like content yeah. creators. I don't know. Maybe we're above. Oh, I just like, meant like. like a, I just we're meant kind of a separate my category because we're not directly paid. I know. Unless you're like, like you know, there are some YouTubers who like directly collab and like they're yeah, sent yeah. to world. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So like, is, there's not like, us. The, the, the Pokemon like, company doesn't want us. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. Like we're at the bottom because there's like the people that do worlds or like, you know, right. talk, uh, commentate and then, you know, like lower and lower down. I don't know who's lower than us. Maybe just like the um casual fan. Yeah. But... Can, I, no, can, I, can I just say like a quick, can I just tell a quick chain. story? We're in the garbage behind the building. <laughs> I was at PAX East in Boston uh, a couple weeks ago and I, someone, uh, there was another creator there who was like, hey, Nintendo is, is basically taking applications for creators who uh, potentially could work with, uh, that they potentially want to work with. So I made my way over to the Nintendo booth and I said, hey, like I heard about this. You want to let me know? Is this cool? And they were so sus. They go get their manager. The manager comes out. She's this like sweet woman, but it was the most polite no of my entire life she <laughs> was say, she just kept was saying say, did you go up on the tree did you, she did you she just kept saying thank you for doing this thank like she looked at the podcast and then i said oh just to let you know i also have a youtube channel there are more subscribers there and she goes oh that is very helpful would you like a picture with pikachu i can help you cut the line <laughs> and she and then she's like and she's like she's like did you get a pen we can give you a pen oh we have posters can we give you some posters i'm like yeah, here's a thank sticker you so little much. buddy I, I know i was like i'm like with my my friends i'm like trying to that's be so awesome. cool i'm like all right thank you that's so awesome. much uh, whatever that's and, yeah, like uh, it was the most polite no <laughs> of my life are y'all y'all familiar with uh parks and recreation there's a quote from that show where it's like we don't like to say no here so 
nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was it was humiliating. I'll be back next year at PAX East, uh, and then I'll watch. And next year they'll take us. And then I'll work with Nintendo. Like, you have to have like a million. I also followers. think they probably saw. You say that, but like a lot the, of people, like Philly Beats, you got in before a hundred thousand, didn't he? Yeah, my friend. Well, it's Al- a, it's a, I was with my friend Alchemy Sunday, wow. and yeah, and she she doesn't even have. I don't even think she has like ten thousand on YouTube, but she's a big TikTok creator. That's um, also true. They like that because yeah. that's kind of the mainstream right now. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. I I do think. You know, I'll probably put this clip at the end of the episode, but uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> this but is it, a good separate clip. Dusty yeah, this is trying nice. to get us into Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, but um, I do. So they, I gave them my business card right here. I got one right here. I gave them my business card. That's what they looked up. I should have been like, well, I, I'm also. I had been like flexing the podcast the whole convention because everyone was like, "What do you do?" And I'm like, "Well, we have a podcast. It's like a monthly podcast, weekly podcast." Um. And they probably saw because we have this right here. Actually, no, we don't have leaks. I, I assume we had leaks in our bio, but we don't have leaks in our bio. We Smart. do have leaks on Twitter in our bio, but we yeah, Pokemon analysis. The Maybe reason we discussion. That. Yeah, you should probably should change. That. Probably well, should no, change. there's no leaks. It doesn't say leaks. At least not on the business card. I, anyways, this is a legitimate business. Well, they, they collab. Yeah, this is a legitimate business. <laughs> don't they be mad at me. With uh, um. With uh, Austin, Austin John. John plays, and yeah. he, he does. Does he, he does. do league coverage? He yeah, does. He does. Yeah. It's like thought. minor league coverage. I didn't, wanna, I didn't wanna say he does, and then like someone, like a huge Austin John fan in the comments is like, no, he does not, how dare you? you yeah, know? you're telling so, them to do that to make right sure. now. No, he does, yeah, he does. Anyways, all right, let's get back on track. Yeah. Yeah, so Pokemon we're, works. We're professionals. So, does it work for you? I yeah, made so, this so joke I, on my channel, and I'm gonna make it again here. It's a we good We can joke. now say that we, uh, get up and we Pokemon smile. Then we Pokemon go to our Pokemon works. Yes. And then we come to our Pokemon home and we Pokemon sleep. Oh yeah, dude. Yep. It's a lifestyle, baby. We're just and we're all Pokemon, Pokemon United. And, yeah. We're that. all, and we're all Pokemon. We're all Pokemon United in that. <laughs> yeah. I have a Pokemon yes. heart of gold. I propose to my wife with a Pokemon diamond ring. There we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Those were like the the deep cut ones that yeah, yeah. nobody knew about. Right. So. Oh, it's so good. The big question I have, right? Why did Pokemon? Why is Pokemon Works a subsidiary? Subsidiary. Sub subsidiary. A subsidiary. Subsidiary. Why is Pokemon Works a subsidiary? What Luby <laughs> said. Why is? Listen, this is the question. Why is Pokemon Works? A separate company underneath Game Freak. Why is it not a a, a new internal team within Game Freak? I think that's the it big question. Is, though I that's I think okay. So here's the thing with this whole thing. We're making this episode right, but <laughs> Pokemon Works could end up being like literally nothing. Nothing. You're right. It could end up being Instant literally merch. nothing. It could just be like them working on home though it can't it can't be totally nothing because they did say that like in the contract it's written that they are going to work on pokemon games so okay, like specifically cool. pokemon games yeah yeah no they i figured are... it but didn't know that it was like confirmed then which is yeah. exciting baby because this... it is but you don't know the extent of how no we don't right. do we don't because but... ilka, pokemon ilka games already can be worked... pokemon smile <laughs> yeah ilka already sure. worked on starlet and violet ilka That's worked true. um on BSP, obviously, I think in Did maybe in Sword, Sword and Shield? Shield too, there was another game that they worked on as well. But they had they've been working in the background with with the Pokemon Company for a while now. Like yeah. it's not. I think that this whole thing is just like the evolution of what they've already been doing. Yeah. But that also includes BSP. So th- there's there's we don't know the range of what they developed. Listen, Pokemon listen, 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 listen. I did not know that. Guys, this is this go. is the thing. This is the thing. Wait, wait, what developed Ilka? I'm sorry, what developed Pokemon Sleep? According on Serebii, it says list of Pokemon games developed by Ilka. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shiny Pearl, Pokemon Home, and Pokemon Sleep. I don't think they're the core developers. Oh, obviously, Pokemon Home, too. Pokemon yeah, Home yeah. is their biggest thing that they do. Yeah. And the, yeah. This, the could be, this could be like, we've been working on Pokemon Home for this long, and they're like, all right, we want to bring them in fully to like be a part of everything yeah. to let so you know everything Pokemon mansion i just want to yeah. clarify right i do this every time we bring up ilka i think the ilka conversation gets soured so quickly but i think in reality sorry there's a lot of there's a lot of beautiful potential i think ilka dropped the mm-hmm. ball on a lot of things but i also think ilka 
a lot of Ilka's problems were really just problems with Diamond and Pearl. And no one wants to admit that. Sure. Everyone has Gen, everyone has Sinnoh fever, but... Sin, uh, like, you, ha you haven't been online for a little while, but most people are agreeing with you these days. Okay, most good. People think, well, I've been Most people it. think the opposite. Good, good job. You were there first. One Piece Odyssey yeah. changed people's opinions. Okay, Because yeah, cool. that was a game made by Oka, and I, I'm not a One Piece fan. Um, I don't hate it. I just haven't seen it. Um, But uh, I think that, like... That game really impressed people because that was that was one thing when I posted a video on Pokemon Works. Uh, that was like kind of the top thing I saw people saying. They're like, "Dead in One Piece Aussie, let's you, give them another shot." You know why though? Because I think, I think what Ilka is the best at is actually doing the graphics and and you know like they I know specifically that they worked on three D graphics. Help, yeah, like helping Pokemon models in Scarlet and Violet. Um, mm -hmm. That's not like in the credits or anything, but that's something I heard in the background. Um, it wasn't so, creatures. Yeah, creatures does most of the work, but I'm just saying oh. that's what I heard that they helped out with the the modeling of hmm. that. Anyway, um, so One Piece Odyssey looks great. Um, the new Sandland game that's coming Dude. out looks great. Um, even BDSP looked good. It was just the chibi was not the what people wanted. Yeah, and the but chibi the actual. And the chibi. When you go into like the the um. The towns you can like go to the little um are we talking about, little sign you can go to the sign about, there uh, one piece odyssey in bdsp okay yeah no in bdsp you can go to the little sign and it'll show the whole town because they're like the spectacle kind of people where they're just like look at all this artwork that we did basically yeah um bdsp doesn't look that bad to me. it doesn't bdsp look uh, yeah i think i do think it doesn't live up to what it was being built to like what it was inspired by i don't think it lives up to what it was inspired by <laughs> games like the 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 remake of Link's awakening right yeah, yeah i also I don't think it li i also don't think it lives up to like there's also like this like conceptual thing where it's like oh how do we make games <laughs> that look like the old 2d pokemon games right i think that was a big inspiration for game freak i mean they're the first ones to like try this though too you know like how do you translate this yeah. to a like a perfect one to one and make it look good. Yeah, you know? it, it, it's so. a, it's a it's a, like a noble thing. I don't think that I, whatever. We'll see how it. Well, I don't want to be like, oh, it, it can't work. Because my point is, I think it can work. I think this was the first step. I think that it was a tough time doing it. I mean, we have like like if we if we think about the context uh, of which the BDSP was created, right? It was we had two games, almost three games in a two year period, right? Scarlet and Violet, Legends mm -hmm. Arceus. BDSP, and it was also during, it it was right it was right off the heels of the COVID era, right? I think mm -hmm. there were and it's like a brand new endeavor, so I think there was a lot of like negative factors. I also don't think Sinnoh is that good of a game. I don't think those are good games. Ooh, I think yeah, a lot of people agree. I mean, I kind of agree too, especially <laughs> Diamond and Pearl. It's the it's just how they play, not not like I think it's how they play. I think I think, I think, I think Platinum. I think that is if, another. If, if this was a Platinum game. If this was a platinum remake, I do not think we'd yeah. be having the same conversations. There's I still agree. issues with BDSB. There are still I think that is issues. the issue. I think that is a large part of the issues that people have with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearls. People do admit that about Diamond and Pearl. And so it's kind of like you have to ask. And Game Freak's done this too, right? They didn't make Emerald they or remake Emerald. They yeah. remade Ruby and Sapphire. And I think people kind of go, you have these third versions where they're literally supposed to be enhanced versions of the yeah. original. And you chose to remake the original, like, yeah. and leave out these features from, like, for example, uh, when the time comes for a Sun and Moon remake, it's going to be pretty We're disappointing not... if there's not any Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon stuff in that. You know? I mean, dude, that's mm -hmm. a whole other conversation because I, the, like, the existence of Legends, a, a ZA, means we probably won't get a Sun and Moon remake or it's going to be an Ilka, like, okay, that's a whole, say that. we'll talk that about this. Very... That is very um, my, on topic. Yeah, I'd my, say, with what my, we're talking about. My biggest, like, the thing that I was most excited for when BDSP came out was like, okay, great, a new team developing these glorified. I'm gonna, I, I they're glorified ports. That's all they are, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's exciting right. because I want to play these games on my Switch. I want to play these games on my Switch too. I want to be able, like, I love playing the older games. But I love the older games because of how they play. And BDSP does play like an older game. 
It's just not as polished as one of the 2D games. You're you're right and and not right at the same time because if you talk about the negatives of Ilka and BDSP specifically, it's not just a port because they took away stuff and they added stuff. It's not exactly the same. You know, like a port mm -hmm. is exactly what you played back when you were younger. Just in HD, right? Yeah, and this is like no, we're cutting out the underground things and we're adding this and you know there's some things that are different. But mm. yeah, I I don't know. The, people will hype up Ilka. I'm still like not convinced by them just because like it's not just BDSP, it's also home and it's also the 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 quality control mm. let's say yeah <laughs> you know what i mean my big thing with oka was never i certainly did not like the art style but my my big thing with oka was not the art style but if you look at the very first trailer of brand diamond shining pearl the trailer that revealed brand diamond shining pearl there is a scene where the character goes into the union room and the union room's full of people the irony is you could not get a union room full of people until yeah after not only after brian diamond shining pearl release but after legends arceus release there were so <laughs> many features that were no one was playing uh, this game like then. they they were late like they were so late to get these features in mm -hmm. and then also a big thing is obviously the home thing guys look I know. And no hate towards oka i'm a big believer in second chances i cannot wait to see what Oka does next, because I think both Oka and the Pokemon Company will learn from the feedback of Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and the next thing, whatever that is, Unova Johto, I don't care. Whatever it is, it will be better. But you have to admit that Ilka developing a game on an engine that they didn't think to check was compatible with the cloud system that they made was yeah. stupid. Yeah, that no, was they... very bad. <laughs> what else was stupid is they did, they released BDSP, like, completely unfinished they had to do the day mm. one patch thing or like i don't even know if it was, it was like, day one it was like it was like seven days before the game release because that was the thing was you have the before the reviews come in uh mm. and that was the big worry was they had to release it like seven days before because these reviewers would have a game that could not be reviewed because it literally was like when yeah, we like, say not work. done we don't mean like <laughs> oh they didn't fix that bug and jubba life no we mean like half the game was not there yeah, yeah. some of that's just the half, state but... of like gaming at the moment i, right? I get I, that i do think like so what 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 Lumi's describing is basically like them rushing to hit a deadline they they mm. print the game as is right so so like the, Which the actual may not game be all their fault no it no but wasn't. it's yeah that's just how it were. is at the moment and then they continue working and patching the game so when you get the game which is three months after they uh, like produced the actual game cartridges there's all these like new like all this new downloaded content that you can put onto the actual it's not a disc it's a yeah cartridge yeah i don't i don't even that doesn't bother me that much it's just like what happens when someone gets this game when it's like not supported anymore yeah you know? well, that's that's <laughs> why it bothers me updates. it does bother me because <laughs> yeah because i still <laughs> have all of my issue. i like i like enjoy playing my ds games still right yeah mm -hmm. these know? games aren't made for that these games are made to be played yeah, right totally. when they came out mm -hmm. you're not supposed to go get them a long yeah. time from now right so, like now. you think last month or i guess it was february i went to a little local retro gaming store uh it had been open for three days really cool young guy and everything and he uh I, he sold me an, a copy of Pokemon Black and White. You can't find great? it in like Walmart and stuff anymore unless it's used. But I I found this so and I lucky, bro. It, and I so get lucky. to play it. But like you're exactly right that in 20 years when the Switch is no longer supported, and I want to go to a store and I want to relive Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and I buy <laughs> it and I put it on my game. Who wants I to do not that? Play it, you <laughs> that know? thing is they made At it that so point, that just you get don't Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying is someone does like obviously I'm you know when this game releases I'm it released in what 2021 so I'm yeah. 20 years old just about turned 21 years old and um but there is a kid out there who is six years old and he's been watching the Pokemon anime and he's a big fan of the anime and now there's this Pokemon game coming out and it mm. looks very kid friendly because it's very appealing to kids right like it's very bright colored and uh, the chibi style is really cute so his parents buy it for him for Christmas. 
Well, now he's 10 years later. This is maybe not his favorite game, but he's nostalgic for it because it was his first Pokemon game. Yeah, and he yeah. wants to go to the store and buy it. And yeah, he pops rough. it into a Switch. It doesn't work. <laughs> he can't hilarious. play it. <laughs> it's unplayable. <laughs> no, one, one last point on this, then we should move on to uh, more Pokemon works. But um, it's also home. Like, home has been a mess. Mm. It's been a mess yeah. since since the beginning like but, i mean lumi went over it in his video you guys should watch it but yeah. there's a whole bunch of stuff like yeah <laughs> i, I, I do think <laughs> i think the state of pokemon in general though has been a mess that's like what we've all been complaining it's, about. it's true what we're talking like, about they're rushing it's the same with right? scarlet and violet and pokemon works seems to be a potential like it's, it's a step it's a step forward it's a step in the right direction mm -hmm. what it yep. can allow pokemon to do is continue to to because when i come when i when i think about predicting new games it's not what i want i mean it's partially what i want but it's also what i think could actually happen based on what their intentions are and i don't think we're That's stopping the yearly it. cycle right obviously you could say well what are you talking about there's no game in 2024 sure that's potentially possible i mean that that could be true i still think legend za might be like a january game or a february game which is oh, weird for sure I uh, think so. I mean, otherwise, like, why would they announce it now, right? Um, and and even so, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not saying there can never not be a game every year, right? That's not really the point. The point is, I think Pokemon wants to put out games every. They want to put out games every year, and if Pokemon works is a step in that direction, that could be a good thing. I think what what I'd like to see is more experimental games, and those can be forged by Game Freak. We could see a continuation. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just, there's so many things coming to my mind. There, There's, because you almost have to categorize all of these different games, right? Each one is a is a specific type of content for a specific type of person. Um, we, we've got, I don't know, I, I don't know. There's a lot of things they could do. But whether these new Pokemon Works games are just Ilka style games, if they're just faith, which is, you know, that means a faithful remake, um, or something more experimental. We don't really know um well well here's the thing we're talking about ilka but the this is not ilka i was saying it on on our last podcast like this is them together oh, it's yeah sure. when you look at the the people involved unison. like no it is it's not just ilka like it's not just their employees and and them being over it this is going to be um there's more creative liberty so it's not like we're just going to get faithful remakes so if this is the case where oh, they actually cool. work yeah if this is the case where they actually work on pokemon games we're talking about a uh team c a third team of game freak that's basically mm -hmm. what we're talking about yeah but because, because they're separate i don't think they're going to be working on scarlet and violet maybe some of the assets no, no. will be borrowed no they... for scarlet and violet but this is still a separate company it's a separate thing right just but like team b it's a subsidiary of of Pokemon. Company. That means Pokemon it's a, owns it's it underneath. But, yeah, but it's I don't like. Yeah, but, but I don't. But it's not have, a game freak game, is what I'm thinking. But it is though because Game Freak is part of Pokemon Works. They're to okay. get they. If you look at it, it's like a it's a merger. It's like okay, them, it's they're merger, together. Sure, it's okay. not just you can't. I'm never gonna call this Ilka. I'm gonna call this Pokemon Works because okay. it's Game Freak and Ilka together, not just Masuda and Ilka. You know what I'm saying? Um sure so yeah they have they have the creative liberties to do more things so the the big exciting thing for most pokemon fans is that they can make new pokemon they could be like hey oh i see get a designer from game freak over here and design this one pokemon i'm not expecting I see, a no, lot I see, of them i see so, so the face so basically the if they're doing remakes a faithful remake could actually introduce the new Sino legends and forms that we saw in Legends Arceus. Maybe those sh mm -hmm. showed up in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Po possibly. Right. That kind of scenario right. is what we could be looking at. Yeah, and I would expect even different... I think I think that they would be working on completely different things. Like, um, like, if they get a remake game, it doesn't have to be a faithful remake. I think that they might be able to have a lot of creative liberty because half of them, let's say, is Game Freak. Half of them wants to do it it's literally like another game freak team with help from ilka that's how mm -hmm. i see it if they work on games i can't say it 100 percent because we don't know you know yeah that's that's how i see it and that's why it's exciting to me because of that it's only good because of that um if it was just ilka yeah. i would be much more concerned i'd just be like okay they're, I... 
They're so good. <laughs> They're taking I them found... in. It's part of the company. They're part of the family. It is. Now, you know. It is. It's like them. It's like them. Uh, almost. I don't want to say grooming, but you know what I mean. Like turning yeah, them yeah, into yeah. like this is the this is the prodigy, where... right? Yeah. This is Th- our this person is the, that we're gonna this is build an- up. Pokemon works as Anakin, right? It's like yeah, you got you got, you got Papa Qui Gon. Yeah, and they're gonna make they're gonna eventually make Pokemon games. I'm sure of it. If it if it works out this way, one day they're gonna be making a, like a, a generation Pokemon game eventually. But See, I, no, but I don't I don't know. I I, I want to push. I'm back sticking on that. far down the road. I'm I don't think far. that's a thing. Otherwise, I think at that point they would just co- they would be combined into just Game Freak. Hmm. I, I think but Game Freak is gonna. Is, I think Game Freak is gonna have contain. I think Game Freak is going to continue to hold the reins on any sort of new game. Possibly though, Pokemon Works, and maybe, I don't know. Maybe Pokemon Works is just dealing with these new iterations and returns to older regions. But then, because you, they're still part of Game that. Freak, well, but, but dude, why would Game Game Freak does not want to give any other company? any more control of a new region right game freak spearheads you, you everything think that though you think that but if you look at game freak a lot of times they're like kind of tired of doing pokemon and they kind of want they did you see little town hero that horse game they yeah. want to like branch out and do other things they're like doing they, another thing now bro i don't company. yeah yeah i, I don't i think it is something like mm-hmm. that i think they want i think they're trying to put their best foot forward and try to like capture lightning in a bottle twice which obviously is it's lightning. It's very difficult yeah. to do that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I have, do it every day. I have no faith that it's going to happen again. <laughs> um, but not uh, on the level of. But I, I don't think sugar, that. I don't though. think because Game Freak is trying to stay creative. I don't think they are done with po- with with with. I don't know, dude. Game Freak is Pokemon. I think if you. I think when we see Game Freak, I think more that's separate what it is from to Pokemon else. <laughs> but to them, what do they want to be? You know. I, I, don't I don't know, know. so I think the people like Everybody Game Freak that's, that's Disney, that, right? Like, that is their biggest Disney's thing. That's their here, thing. Disney sitting here with Mickey Mouse, that that whole franchise, but they've also got Star Wars, they've got Pirates of the Caribbean, they have Marvel. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's diversify. the thing is they'd love to they'd love to have Pokemon. I don't think they're ever looking to like replace Pokemon or nothing. But it'd be cool if we could either. have Pokemon and also have yeah. this, you know. Yeah, I think and keep and keep up the yearly release. You see, like so, yeah. Like Game Freak wants to do something else one year. It's like okay, well, let's have Pokemon Works make a game this year, and we can work on something else. I don't know. You know I, like, I, think, I think Game Freak is the creative genius behind Pokemon. I don't think it would be what it is without their philosophy. But sure. this you, is, you disagree with that? People, I agree. But these are people from Game Freak Two at Pokemon Works. Yeah, but you not completely. Right? The way, but I not completely. The full list I don't think it's directors. the same thing. I don't know I don't if we should read them for transparency. Yeah, maybe yeah, there's something it. I'm missing, but I I, I don't so, think they would want to give that up. That's too valuable. I the, let, they're not going to give it up. There's but. actually something pretty interesting on here too for the list of directors, but uh, there is. Um, first, there's Takuya Iwasaki. By the way, I'm not Japanese, so I'm probably going to mispronounce a lot of these. But he is a representative director of Oka. Um, Takanori Soa, who is the director of the Pokemon Company. Uh, there is the Hirohisa wow. Lijima, or maybe it's Iijima. Um, they he doesn't have anything like to his name so far, so that's just kind of a name right now. We don't know his deal. Um, and then Satoshi Takamori, which is the director of Oka. And then this one's pretty interesting. Then there is Masao Iuchi, Iuchi which is the job. supervisor mm-hmm. of the local subsidiary Pokemon Toys Company Limited. Yeah, that's it right there, toys. That's where the money, but that's it where does the money say, is. It says in the contract, you know, that they're contracted development of games related to Pokemon. But I think what this is really nice, and I, I said this to and and my video on Pokemon Works is at the end of the day, what this is is if Game Freak is like with Brand Diamond and Shining Pearl, uh, another thing that people had issues with it with was there was nothing new to it. And you figure with Pokemon games, we have been really spoiled lately in that there is in every Pokemon game since Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and if you count Notch Dear Pichu, you could even argue Pokemon Heart Gold <laughs> and Soul Silver did this. But every single Pokemon game has had either a new form of some kind, be it Resolute, Keldeo, Curum Black, uh, Mega Evolution, whatever, or a new, straight-up new Pokemon, Blacephalon, yeah. Lycanroc, or just a new gen of Pokemon. Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, 
None of that. No new forms. Yeah. None of this. And when two months later we get new forms of Dialga and Palkia, mm -hmm. the Pokemon literally on the box covers of Brilliant Diamond and, and Shining this, Pearl. So th I, I love what you're saying. I think this is the at least the immediate future of Pokemon Works. I don't think they're diving straight into it where in the next five years we're going to be seeing Pokemon Works taking over brand new Pokemon games. And when I'm saying when I say brand new Pokemon games, I'm talking about brand new generations. I Absolutely think, not. No, I think no, Game Freak is going to be we'll ever see that. That's what Nobody I'm talking about. That. That's oh, not that's, what I mean. That's what I'm arguing against. Yeah. I do not think no. Game Freak yeah, no. is going to give that up. What I do think is Absolutely that they're going to Pokemon Works is going to get access to. They're going to create brand. They're going to create games that are exciting that are that free Game Freak up. But what you're saying, Lumi, which is so great, is that they can now actually introduce new fun. Things right, they can introduce yes, they can new do Pokemon. Designs. They can yes, they the can mess part. around with story. They can tie in well, the story of these games with the core series games, mm -hmm. or, or whatever you want to call them, right? And not only that, but there's like, gonna be a better synergy. Like, like one thing I was kind of livid about with Burning Diamond Shining Pearl was like, why not drop Mega Evolution that game? We have gimmicks in every mm. game, and all of a sudden we have no gimmicks. So and true. Probably because no we don't want you to put mega evolution and diamond and pearl because those games didn't have that don't change much just yeah. run with it because the stuff they changed didn't affect the story or the, yeah. the a lot of the play style or anything the underground but now, is so again good. they have the right to do that and if you think about too the fact that they have a representative uh from shanghai of all places which is a, a little interesting um because you know that's not japan um but uh they um having a director from pokemon toys makes a lot of sense because if there's a new design yeah we're gonna want to make a plush of that mm -hmm. you know yeah the way i see it is if it's like this they'll they'll be making a game every year so like yeah it, it's the whole bdsp um formula but just yeah. like more freedom so like you know pokemon more freedom works and more quality game. yeah yeah more quality. pokemon works makes a game one year and the next year is t game freak team b and then the next year is team game freak team a you know and it just like they keep yeah. they're on their own dev cycles of three years and it's like we're yeah. just pushing out games wow. and it's, it's, I, I, it's kind yeah. of the answer to everyone being like you know game freak needs more quality yeah because it's it, or whatever time but instead they did more people you know yeah it, but, but i think another piece is like game freak you know we you know they're spreading themselves thin and i do mm -hmm. think Game Freak is always pushed against fan. You know, people are just like, you know, fans say, "Why don't you just hire more people?" And when you do that, you also lose a lot of. I, I don't know if it's creative control, but like you lose a lot of like that teamwork, right? When there's too many people, mm -hmm. you're not going to get as good of a quality, uh, or, or at least you're not going to get a soulful product, right? Because mm -hmm. you don't have people. I don't know. It's it's like, you know, it turns into a machine rather than you know yeah. a, a piece of art. So I think Absolutely. what this allows by by creating a, by forming a new entity, right, with these higher ups involved, and it's still a contained process, right? It's still a contained company. You're gonna get these really polished games. That you know that we I hope. don't know. I'm, I'm, it, this is this yeah we're we're hoping, but this is best case scenario, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Yeah, that's that's the the gist of it. So, of course, yeah. we could be completely wrong, and it could just they yeah. could be working on home. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, they could we're be saying making... all this, and it's just toys. Like, Pokemon it is just Sleep, like... the RPG. Right. It's it's <laughs> yeah. it's literally, it's nothing. Like, they're making, I mean, even, like, they're working on Pokemon games. That can even, if you want to be technical, that can even mean, like, yeah. the Pokeball Plus. That is a part of a Pokemon Jeez, game, in a yeah. way. The Pokemon Go Plus, I think there's a similar thing for Sleep, but I'm not sure. Yeah. But, it can even be things like that. Um, but it, it is interesting. I think there's a lot of promise to that. Uh, for what it's worth to Ilka, I, I feel like we got to bring this up because someone yeah. will. Um, Ilka uh, often works with Bondi Namco, and they also have a company together. It's called, I believe, Bondi Namco Aces. Okay, and it is so what a do they do? partnership between Bondi Namco and Ilka for making the Ace Ventura games. So oh. that's like specifically why it was created. And that's why it's so called Ace. it makes sense that a collaboration between Pokemon and Oka This is, is what made I'm specifically saying. Specifically yes. for the Oka games. You yes. Know? Right. Okay. That makes sense. And that and they could be these chibi games, which is still possibly a good thing if they get polished. It could be something new. We don't really know. It'd be one piece like in terms of how it yeah. looks, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, um, it could look really good. It doesn't but have to look like Sandland. Mm -hmm. Let me pull it up right here. They clearly know how to make good games. I do think, like, I think people want to be able to, with a lot of things too, this is more of a, a comment on people than it is a comment on this situation. But I think people love when there is a a one single party to blame for something. But I, I think that oftentimes no one is ever 100% at fault. No, like it's, there's, it's there's, the there's a number of factors. Well, and, and not only that, too, but there's also outside factors, too. Like, again, uh, Brent Diamond Shining Pearl released November 2021. So if you think that game was not being worked on at least a little in 2020, you know, the year that the COVID pandemic started and, like, the hardest year of the COVID pandem pandemic, then you're insane. Like, they absolutely True. were. So there's those factors. There is the factors of, you know, Game Freak not giving them a lot of creative control because they don't want them to change too much about an original, a classic game. Uh, you have Brent Diamond, Shiny Pearls, just there are some things that Ilka dropped the ball with, like it not being compatible with home. Uh, and then you even have some things like, I don't know who's in charge of the deadlines, but clearly this game was not ready by Nintendo. November 2021. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm assuming it's Nintendo. I don't like, know, I'm just kidding. The fact that they're... See, the, the thing, this... though, that makes me oh, wonder yes, if it's not Nintendo is because uh, they let Tears of the Kingdom delay, and they, right. let, it's probably, they let the it's probably Zelda team do it all the time. Yeah. yeah, I think it is. But either way, so not all Loka, but also not all the Pokemon Company, because I've seen the reverse of that. I've seen people go, well, it's all the Pokemon Company's fault. No, it's not. It's just it's just higher ups. There's higher ups, you know, the businessmen. Just everyone's so. being stretched. I gotta be honest. Some of these scenes look straight. At, like I could see a Pokemon game like this. Like yeah. like this is like I, I don't know what that is, but it looks like a Pokemon. Um, I do. I'm not a huge fan of this art style. I mean, uh, for listeners, we're watching clips of the trailer for uh, One Piece Odyssey. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the art style, but obviously that's just an art style. Um, I don't think I like the One Piece art style in general. Is yeah, thing. this and that's why it is. this looks like a raid battle. It's always held me back, to be honest. <laughs> right? I think I think what I think Pokemon works because basically, I want different games. Like I want different Pokemon games. I like that we have these different styles, but I think it could also be really cool if Pokemon Works is able to help kind of synchronize uh, all of these new features. Right? Like. Back in the day, if there's a new feature in the, like, let's say, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. But, yeah, I, I, I think, um, like, I don't know. I'm, think, I'm thinking of Mega, right? If Mega, oh, there's no, there's no, yeah. If Mega's in, if Mega's are in Gen 6 in mm -hmm. Kalos, then they're, they also show up in Hoenn, right? Um, so I'm thinking, sure. like, yeah, if, I don't know. I guess it's just, I don't know. This is good. This is a good conversation. I think what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot more um, collaboration and we're going to see Even, features carry over, right? There's not going to be like, mm -hmm. well, we didn't have time. It's just going to be, it's, it instead could be like, this is a core feature. We want right. to push it. It's in the marketing push across all mediums. So it's even going to be in this new game that's within this generation. Yep. Even things like raids, like one thing that has kept, especially Scarlet and Violet, I think more so than Sword and Shield, but also with Sword and Shield is these raid events, right? Like, yeah. you know, maybe you haven't picked up your Pokemon game, but you see, oh, you know, this week there's a Meganium with a Psychic Terra type and it's going to have the Unrivaled mark. Yeah. So now you're a little more tempted to pick up your game again. And then even things like Mass Outbreaks, now they're doing those kinds of events where they're like, hey, you know, baby Pokemon can be found this weekend and they have a slightly higher chance yeah. to be shiny and a slightly higher chance for this mark. Like even things like that, if they allow Ilka to kind of mess around with that too and do regular great, updates yeah. for those kinds of events, then those give those games more life. I picked up Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I played it all the way through. Um, I picked it up a little bit again to do the battle tower after home dropped for it, but that was literally it. Um, you know, I abandoned it for legends Arceus, but yeah. if they and some of that's okay because i do and it would have been fine no I, I i agree with your point but i do think and this could change but i do think some of those games are intended to be like simple playthroughs you play through them right you enjoy them for a month yeah and yeah. then you just kind of you drop them off i do think they're <clears> being really intentional sure. with how they push the core series games, like the new generation games, because like Scarlet and Violet, I do think they want those to feel like living, breathing games. Um, you know, this is this has been a great conversation. I want to pivot a little bit to 
basically what we could potentially see and this is all speculation but based on everything the whole, the whole episode is <laughs> yeah but 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 basically what we just talked about right if we you mm-hmm. know if pokemon works and means we could potentially be getting more games um who's to say they announce in a m- couple months that there's going to be a new game in 2024 and it could possibly be one of these uh one of these faithful remakes one of these glorified ports what if it is literally a gl- like a port of X and Y to get us ready for Legend ZA and to give players who haven't played X and Y context for Legend ZA, right? So I'd like ports, just ports. I mean, it could be or a like port. This. It could or be do a, you mean could, glorified could, ports like yeah. Grand Diamond? China. It could be a port. It could be a glorified port. I don't know if they give it a polish. I think it's a glorified port. Uh, port, right? Like, I want to see them use this to keep gimmicks alive, especially because a lot of gimmicks, in fact, every gimmick technically, yeah. has a form that is only locked to that gimmick. Obviously, yeah. Mega Evolution, z have Souls Boy, Ultra Necrozma, um, Gigantamax, obviously, and then even if you want to be technical, Terrastool does lock Ogre Pond and yeah. Terrapagos forms. So mm-hmm. I- I'd love for them to be able to use this to keep gimmicks alive, like... Hey, let's release Johto this year, but let's freaking throw some Z crystals in there. Yeah. You know, like let's just do Johto with Z moves. Let's do yeah. Unova with Terra Stools. Obviously, easy to do. Yeah. Um, Bro, but uh, if they do Johto with with Z moves, I'm just gonna cry. Yeah, I would cry because that would no, mean Ultra, ne- Ultra Necrozma would be in Ultra Necrozma. No, but it would. Know? It would mean that Ultra Necrozma would be in johto and i would just be like this is the best game that ever right you know we didn't really, we didn't talk about this Pikachu much and Eevee, they didn't explain why mega stones were in kanto they were just kind of like here is a mega stone yeah. so they don't have to be like oh well you know there's zemus here because necrozma is the legendary of this game they can just be like i just visited alola here's but, some but, zemus no totally but i think also po- the implication of pokemon works everything we just talked about like I also think it means that they could be really like liberal with, um, with adding new story elements, right? And actually explaining mm-hmm. those things. Like why not? If if they have the higher ups, if they have their, if Game Freak has their fingers in these types of games, right? Absolutely. They know what, yeah. what they know what's going on. They're not going to be afraid to mess because that's I think what happens if they want to make BDSP and they want to put it out, but it's not run. It's not a Game Freak game. It's someone else is doing it. They're like, do it to a T. Don't mess with the IP. Don't mess with the con with with you know the lore behind this, right? Just make it mm-hmm. one for one. We're just re- we're just selling the same product again. But I think a, a and dude, here's another thing. You know, there's been a wave of ROM hack takedowns, right? Yeah, we've yeah. been mm-hmm. seeing this. Like, kind of what we're well, kind of what we're describing a little bit is like they're kind of like ROM hacks, right? It's like you take a game a little bit. You, yeah. you kind of give it a new fresh coat of paint and then a little bit of new content, right? Yeah. So that's, no, I that's agree. Exciting. I mean, this is what I was saying earlier that you got, you got here eventually, but yeah, like, well, no, I, the only thing I was pushing back. Yeah. The only thing I was pushing back on was like, I thought you were saying Pokemon works could potentially like work on make... new generation games. And to me, I'm seeing this uh, no. as like a no, power I, play. I don't think Game Freak would give that up. No, no. I'm, no. When I said that, I meant like. 10 15 years down the road like a long time like but, and but not at even, that point they would, they would fully assimil- assimilate assimilate sure, them into yeah like if they the came together thing. then it's like yeah. okay well if you're available for it yeah then take it i was saying like they're raising them up to be like the next people that help them make it. sure but anyway yeah. um, what we're seeing here is tony stark with peter parker exactly yeah, a little bit a little clearly bit. setting him up to be the next yeah. iron man you so know what if i you mean guys don't know yes of course if you guys don't know lumi will always do marvel references and dude will always they're do Star so Wars applicable <laughs> though like marvel is so good like all the time i'm literally i never script to reference marvel in my videos like i never have that in my notes but i'll be especially with all this multiversal stuff that's been going on with scarlet well, yeah. violet Naturally. i'll be i'll be talking about it and i'll be like dang it a great example is king the conqueror <laughs> yeah <laughs> But then Dusty will do Star Wars, so yeah, that's this how it goes. All I anyway, say, this is um, the Luke Skywalker all I gotta say, versus Darth Vader. <laughs> there haven't been any any financial Star Wars flops, but there's been a lot of financial Marvel flops. I'm just saying it. That yeah. is true. There no. also has been a lot more Marvel uh, productions. Yeah, so a lot more. Yeah, that's probably why. Anyway, and also um, there's been a lot more bad Star Wars. Movies. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. 
So it was, it's, um, a, it's been a little underbaked, but it's not been bad. I'm the I'm the one that talks about Pokemon, so here we are. We're okay, here yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the purest. <laughs> so yeah, so I think what I want to talk about briefly is what we can expect ports, to see though. this year. No, right? Yeah. So I I was gonna say this earlier, like an interesting point in this, and this isn't totally on your point, but from what we heard, like about what's gonna happen this year, is it would be like a Gen five. Uh, yeah. remake in this style that you're thinking i don't think that they're going to do a gen 6 one but who knows i think I, they will have revealed that with legends yes, EA if with that's with the case. it yeah it would have been right. the same as like uh bdsp and pokemon right. legends rc well what's cool about um, this yeah well i mean I, I i'm really curious about if there's any new information or maybe we can do like a quick little roundup of what we yeah uh, can you just tell people like what to expect can you tell me what to expect if no you yeah to get a gen 5 remake because because I don't what know, we heard, I feel like we haven't talked about that in a while. What we heard really, and this is what's interesting to this point, is that it would be a black and white remake, yeah. and that it would be at, from an outsourced company that yeah. is not Ilka. That is not Ilka. Yeah, Pokemon Works. So, so, is it Pokemon Works? Or interestingly enough, is Pokemon Works doesn't do anything, and and it's just a whole other company. Yeah, you know. No, we I still don't have think that it's as an option. Pokemon Works because if. If this game is if coming this, out, if this all this, ends up happening, if we're right, still, we're yeah. very big speculating now because yeah, we don't I know. mean, it, there may don't not be Nintendo. a thing, but I'm saying if there <laughs> is a black and white game, we're professionals. Pokemon Works <laughs> seems like a dream come true, but I don't see how it could be Pokemon Works because Pokemon Works' trademark was just filed and it was just formed. So I don't see how Pokemon Works has in two months developed a Pokemon black and white game. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, no, I think is, perhaps is Pokemon point. Works was created as a result of the black and white games development. But if, if this if game's the black and white games happening, the, we're, the, we're the, if and all of this, sure. you know, <laughs> the only I mean, yeah, it, I think what like you guys are saying rumors. makes sense. It could be something rumors. else. But I, I do think a lot of this work could be created in the back end before forming works. Right? Yeah, I agree. They could okay. be. They could have done have a year, a year of development on the on the story, a year of development on the concept, uh, of the assets, of the style, of everything, right? And then they form works because they're like about to go public. Pretty much is what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. That actually it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean like they don't have to have the company uh, official until it's sure. actually officially coming out or anything. They could have still been working on it this whole time and had like a a an agreement between them already yeah, you know right. what i mean like it was it was a contract between two companies yeah and now they've published a company yeah that mm -hmm. they're going to you know just do this in the future with and that I could mean, have also been the thing too right is it's a collaboration and they they kind of are sitting there and going and if we really enjoy this maybe we do a you know co-op yeah. later on where it's like an actual company and they do like it and and i, I think there's an know. advantage here for uh this new game <laughs> again if we get a new game it's i think there game, would be yeah. an advantage to this new game if it resembled anything like uh bdsp because people aren't like uh here's an there's no baggage of the ilka game basically right people can't be like oh it's ilka Yes, there might no. you know the insight still like, will we'll, we'll kind of know, but I do think it'll be like well, it's a brand new company, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's smart um, marketing almost on their on their part if they do it that way because it'll be like this is a different name. Yeah, it's a you different know, name. It's that could process. also be why they went public first, right? Yeah, is maybe, because maybe. they know we're about to drop black and white, and when we reveal that the director of that game is a director at Ilka, we know Pokemon fans will freak out. So let's go ahead and establish him as a director in Pokemon Works. Yeah. And then just release this onto the Pokemon Works titles or yeah. franchise or series. It's very interesting company. to think. I as for your question totally. though, I don't think that they will do Gen Six ports like we were talking about. I know the, the, the Gen Six port. So I mean, I don't know. Listen, I just want ports. Do you, know, guys think, do you guys think we'll ever get Gen Three <laughs> poor, ports? Poor man, dude, I, Dusty. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you right now. Dude. I'm telling you. Right now, I can't wait for ports not because yeah. i want to play emerald but because i am so excited Sick of to hearing see you me. if because you no 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 no, no. <laughs> you to play emerald if you do not, like, i'm gonna be happy like I, the first thing i'm gonna do is be like i'm logging on to dusty go go's youtube channel and yeah. just seeing seeing what he's doing with it. those ports we did it yeah i uh, here's the thing i'm not even gonna do that, that much reveal, with i'm it. gonna be upset with you because because i have all of those games i think it's more valuable to get the gen one and gen two ports but, mm. uh, you know, I say this, I say this, but actually, 
we live in an era we've where, already had those too yeah, yeah but we but we live in an era where like bank is still functional right I, i'm it kind is. of hedging my bets i'm like i want these ports because i want to play them and it'd be more convenient to put them right into home uh but I, I'd rather play all of these games and be able to just put them right in home. I don't want to have to transfer my Gen 3 Pokemon to my Gen 4 game and then get out a new DS and transfer my Gen 4 Pokemon to Gen 5 and then Gen 5 to Bank and then Bank to Home. That literally, and then and then for three of those transfer processces, you're limited to six Pokemon once a day. That's horrible. When well, you horrible. have to have two different consoles. I know or multiple and consoles I, too, because and I'm great. You can't I just have do a those. 3ds. You gotta have a DS. Yeah, too. exactly. It's a pain in the butt. I don't have a DS, a working one, so I couldn't do it. Exactly. I could so that's why they should port the games. Up. That's why they should pay. That's why they should port the games. I think. Oh, uh, I don't know, dude. Just like I'm like. No, I mean, we agree. We agree. It's, it's just, just it's frustrating because I like I do. It's not even like a moral high ground thing. It's just like a convenience thing. It's like it's like I love your game. I'll keep buying your game. Just make it accessible and stop, just stop like not making these games accessible and then punishing people who want to emulate your games because new fans can't ex enjoy them, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny from a, uh, a like just a, just a business standpoint too. It's just kind of funny because you remember uh, when, um, when Avengers Endgame released, it overtook the number one spot in the box office from Avatar. Yeah, Star Wars and so it. then avatar <laughs> re-released their movie in theaters oh. and it jumped back to number one that's like some so Taylor like, swift snake stuff well and that's what i'm saying is pokemon could literally just re-release these games dude. and you, your your sales are going up I know. I know. You know, especially yeah. to imagine like it's an easy eight year old money. who's just gotten easy into money. pokemon but has obviously never played red yeah. blue you know those games and they release them now and he's like oh my gosh mom i can play the first Pokemon game they ever it's exciting. made. You know, it's easy for us to talk about because we had access to that game at least at some point in our lives. But these kids, this would be like a dream come true to them. Would, I dude. can play the first Pokemon game. Yeah, I agree. It's it's easy money, for real. It's so so, so they're sitting on a gold dude, mine, yeah. man. <laughs> I I could rant about this forever. So yeah. okay, if we get a Gen Five game, I think. Again, if it is created by Pokemon Works or some sort of new company, if we want it, I mean, all of this, we should err on the side of caution, right? Let's not assume there's a game. Let's not assume it's Pokemon Works. But if it's, yeah, assume it's black and white. But <laughs> if the speculation days, comes true. Because it's so dry. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. But it's just like, it's that valley of yeah. doubt kind of thing. But I so don't know. It, there's it, still a... If we were to get Gen 5 games and the Gen <laughs> 5 games are produced by, by Pokemon Works... What could be really cool is that these games could have a really close tie to the Kalos story, right? Yes. Because, again, yeah. if it's Pokemon Works and there's Game Freak, uh, there's Game Freak people working on this process, they could introduce new Pokemon, they could introduce new forms, they could also introduce new plot points and new characters and actually mess with the story that we know. Um, and that's exciting because even though it'll be kind of like this 2D, um, not 2D, but like top-down game, uh, if that's what it is, I don't know. We don't know anything. Yeah, we don't know what it would be like. We don't know anything about it. But that would even be like exciting. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, and not only can it tie into Kalos, because you, uh, for those who don't know, Kalos is, because it was the region after Unova, it is actually chock full with Unova stuff. Like the, uh, there's a statue of Zekrom and Reshiram in the back of the um, Parfum Palace. And uh, I mean, there's that place even is a trainer who says yeah. like, oh, there's like a connection between uh kalos and unova and then um, sycamore and masters says like he implies like a connection between the legends of unova and the kalos and then um There's uh, a, a guy mentions <laughs> chorus yeah like yeah and that's just off the top of my head so mm -hmm. I, I but the cool thing is too it's also very easy to tie unova into scarlet and violet because you have the blueberry academy and you know it in a way this hypothetical Unova game could be like the bridge from Scarlet and Violet to Legends EA, you know? You know what's crazy is I was thinking about this the other day, and I think that if we get a black and white remake this year, like that's the remake, and then the new black and white content was the the DLC. Guys. You know? I think I think that might be it for like Gen 5. Sure. Like their Gen yeah. 5 like remake about, like, cycle. Yeah. Like that was it. <laughs> How about this? I just found this because it was not popular, you know. I just anyway. found this thread. It's it's a post. Um, this is on Reddit from eleven years ago, right? 
11 years ago, possible connections between Kalos and Unova. And the last one is really interesting. And then it, it kind of, my brain is spiraling. This post says, in Black and White 2, the character returns two years after the original game. In Gen 2, you return to Kanto two years after the events of Gen 1, right? This is groundbreaking 11 years ago. Uh, but they write, perhaps during the events of Black and White 2, Hilbert and N are in Kalos, right? Just a theory. The events yeah. of Gen 6 go on in post-game, and the character meets Hilbert, who is connected to N, has not come back. The two characters go back to Unova to find N or pause. So basically, it's like, what is the... It's not, a, it's not a black and white three game that we could be seeing, but potentially a new sequel for the actual characters of black and white, right? It's like a... It's, like a, it's a paradox, right? It's I've a thought, different I've thought this. I know Kayla, um, Kayla's Capsule has thought this as well, that like, there's a possibility that the protagonists of Legend ZA are like the black and white protagonist sure dude that's cool that's <laughs> it's really cool. crazy yeah, it's it's really where, crazy they theory. are the followers yeah but it is it's a really crazy theory but it's like it's not how even do that we... crazy that those that's who the protagonists were in legends i, I honestly i would like it if we weren't if like we were not them so like the player character is not them but they like appear and are a character in the game and like yeah. they can set it where like you know if you uh, are a male like if you select you know your character to be a boy then it'll be Hilda, and then if you select your character to be a girl, it'll be um, Hilbert, or vice versa. Yeah. You know, I think that could be pretty neat. Like, just, you know, because we haven't had a protagonist that was, like, from a past game that was yeah. interactable as a character, except for Red. And, you know, Red mm. is now, like, an established character. Not a yeah. player character. In Hilbert. A character. In the protagonist. It'd be cool to do that with Hilbert and Hilda. No, totally. And the protagonists of Black and White obviously are... Uh, at least Hilbert was designed to look like Red, right? He's got a standard yeah, mm -hmm. standard right. outfit, uh, front forward ball cap, very like blank expression, right? Yeah. Um, I mean that'd be that'd be honestly really cool because that's so I haven't I haven't so, done enough research into it, but Kayla did I think, and I, she I thought she was gonna release a video, but she didn't. But either way, I was going to research more because I had the thought originally. I was like, yeah, if these two are connected, they could just like make these games really connected yeah but mm -hmm. so how about this well there's gonna be like at least an easter egg right because you oh, had yeah. like and yeah. a can the cantilave library like the hint to quillfish uh, an or uh, or over quill rather it was like a quillfish with really yeah, large yeah, spikes yeah. and it was how it literally told you how to get yes yeah yeah i was just trying to figure out how we can like connect um you know like how how the protagonist ends up being in like a past Kalos or a, you know, a, I don't know, a future Kalos even. Just how does it work without Arceus taking them back in time kind of thing? I mean, you know? they so, never, they never really explained to Ingo, you know, they just kind of said he is here now, you know, yeah. <laughs> he just yeah, fell yeah. out of one of the distortion rifts. Uh, Looker, you know, he's a follower, Annabelle, all these, there's a lot of followers where they just kind of were, and now they're here. You know, yeah. so they honestly could just do that yeah. for sure. And they want to leave the mystery. Um, but before we move on to our final uh, point, I do want to ask you, Soul, about I do want to ask you about like what we know about. Uh, I know I know the Riddler had referenced the Unova game being like a paradox version of itself. Um, yeah. So I think any sort of I think what we kind of just described here would fall into that category. Right. A different sure. type of sequel to the original black and white. Um, mm -hmm. Or a different version of black and white, right? I maybe a black. I and, think the black and white characters in Kalos, just mm -hmm. ideas. You know, I think that that was just him having fun. Like they were just yeah. four options, um, like of what it could be. But I think if that was at all true, like maybe he heard something that it could be one of those. Yeah. Um, it's the only way I see it happening is if like Legend ZA is like the paradox kind of thing and not the actual remake. I think the remake will be much more faithful than what yeah. we're assuming. I think I think it'll be a very well, close to faithful because he also did say original super original taste. Yeah. Um and and in other tweets he said um like it wasn't exactly a faithful remake but faithful enough, like close enough. I forget sure. what he said exactly, but if you if you look back in some comments to some some replies to some people, he's like Yeah. It's like it's like original flavor, not okay. exactly original right. flavor, like uh, original taste. Yeah. So anyway, I think I I mean I think that like 
if you want to be technical, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearls, Paradox, Sinnoh, it's the same story, but there yes. are differences between the games. That's Rem- true. Pal Park is Romana's part. Yeah. Underground is, you know, it's a little different. You can hunt for shinies and there's wild Pokemon down there. So it can be as simple as it's a Unova game, but it's a Paradox Unova game because while yeah. it is the same story as the Unova game, now the Intralink lets you catch pokemon not by going to the dream world or something as simple as that you know right yeah yeah totally so all right well let's move on to uh let's move on to the news uh there i don't know if lumi you want to we could just mention it you know just be like (laughs) what i don't know what was it lumi i we might get news right maybe Uh, EYC European International Championships is this weekend, which is April 5th through the 7th. Um, They have confirmed that there is a closing ceremony, which I believe it's standard for an international championships. And they have confirmed that at this international championships closing ceremony, we will uh, get news for worlds. It was implied that we would get the dates but okay. you know news for worlds could mean something a little beyond that like how at yokohama last year for worlds uh they did a few events like a pop-up pokemon center and they did like the ssn they practically made it real and other stuff yeah. so it could be that uh yeah so of it was course, it was from a small chance that it was from rosemary kelly as yeah. you uh said mm-hmm. it but um it, it there's the small minuscule chance that they give some kind of news i don't know it uh, seems, it is... to me it seems way too early still i agree like we just got I this agree. so but the the biggest thing i would say is that it gives us a date for when we're gonna get our real news <laughs> you know what i mean like <laughs> whenever we get the world's yeah. dates that's like oh that's the date when we're gonna eventually get big news kind of well you, know? you yeah. say that but they they don't because usually world's news is tied to competitive and the Legends games don't have a competitive circuit. At least Legends Arceus didn't. Oh, and they yeah. didn't give Legends Arceus news at uh, Worlds. Though, you know what? I don't think there was a Worlds that year. But either way, I don't know. I would not necessarily... I could see them not giving it. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I do think I do think that a, an interesting thing about it is that, I mean, you know, you're going to... You're going to get your world's news. And, and something to bring up is uh, Pokemon Twitter has been, the U.S. account at least, has been sus lately. You know, like they've <laughs> Oh, they they've have. Posted, Dude, they have. They posted. Like, let me right. pull it up. They po- the, yeah, they literally posted the mega energy uh, or the, the, the mega f- uh, symbol yeah. from they the trailer it- with the eyes emoji that are like. Yeah. yeah. They're keeping it in our heads. So that's really good that's signs good. for like that. They're, we're gonna get news sooner than we're thinking. Yeah, you know, right. like why would they be posting about it now? Like, are they gonna yeah. post about it once every month? You know, Scarlet know. and Violet. They were like, "Here's Pokemon Scarlet and Violet coming out this year," and then like just nothing until May, June, whatever. They did the yeah. stupidest no. things. This is literally just an egg emoji and something happened. I yet. sat there and watched well, it because I was Easter, like, I "What's gonna come <laughs> out?" Oh, it's for Easter. <laughs> okay, true, true. <laughs> Nothing came out. Yeah, I was wearing kind of like an Easter colors today. It should have been like a raboot. I'm an Easter egg. Dude, right here. Yeah, but right Pokemon, they go hashtag they Pokemon L- Legends ZA eyeballs. Yeah. What they are you telling us? They posted something a little bit further back. I don't remember what it was, but they it, they just like posted it. It was just like, the Lumio City urban redevelopment is underway. Yeah. And that, it was random. Like it was a few weeks after uh, the reveal. And it... I'm not saying, oh, it means we're getting news next week. I don't think we are. But I'm just saying it is interesting that they have been trying to keep this alive. Now, that was because Raikou's sleep. Yeah. yeah. How would you know that? Do you play Pokemon Sleep? I've been... Cr- I got a Raikou in sleep. It's sick. <laughs> it's I know so that because fun. they revealed it in the presents uh, and we're wasting my time with it. <laughs> Dude, I, was I love... Pom- I'm having so the... much fun. <laughs> I tried to make like a uh, crack at Pokemon Sleep yesterday for like yeah. april fools because they they were like joking oh, about tournament? it yeah i'm like even pokemon company thinks that this game is a joke <laughs> i think basically it was on april fools though this like, game was just made to be jokes That's they, it. it's awesome they dude. absolutely it's thought it was a joke because they it's totally so what fun. happened was they announced this game 
kind of figured nobody cared, so they never gave any updates on it. They had totally scrapped it. And then everyone, as a meme, was they like, called it back. where's Pokemon <laughs> Sleep? And so they're like, ah, oh, crap, I guess people care. You know, so they had to make it. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love this. I watched this whole thing. Anyway, I did not watch it. I just <laughs> it's made so funny. On. It's so funny. It is funny. Pokemon Sleep is great. Let us know in the comments if you guys watch Pokemon Sleep. Uh, let's thank our patrons. Watch Pokemon Sleep? If you play Pokemon Sleep. That's a, well, it's if you a watch leak. someone sleep, let us know that too. Because it's a leak for the next Pokemon, Pokemon game. It's called has Pokemon anyone, Watch. Has anyone <laughs> done like a... Yeah, right. Has anyone <laughs> watch Dusty play Pokemon <laughs> Sleep? Has anyone done us. like a challenge run of Pokemon Sleep yet? <laughs> you should just start a new channel called Pokemon Watch. That's it. Pokemon, Pokemon Watch. watch. You <laughs> just watch people play Pokemon Sleep. Yeah, yeah. just like watch my neighbors. Uh, let's read off the patrons. Let's thank our patrons. Yes. Okay, so... We want to give a special shout out to our mythical tier supporters Soli the Skeleton, Trash Panda, Ryan Stoll, Brandon, Candace Wendy's, and Case. And yes. then we want to Ooh. give an extra special shout out to our Arceus tier supporters mm. Vinay Purum, Hayes, SEHR Gold, and last but certainly not least, extra, definitely extra special. not least, we want to give the most specialist of all insane. special shout outs to our Game Freak Inc level supporters drogain and bramtastic oh my gosh thank you guys so much for your continued support uh this show is thriving we are growing it's a dead period but we are growing and you guys are loving it and we're loving it um we got a lot of really great plans a lot of good juicy guests uh for the for the podcast um oh, we have so much stuff planned we're i think we're ready to like be done with yeah, we're like we're like trying to bank up on evergreen stuff because those are like the fun, juicy episodes. We got guest episodes on the way. We got so much stuff planned. Um, anyways, we love you guys so much. Goodbye. Bye. Actually, no. Before this, before we leave, <laughs> oh, no. before before we leave, before we leave, um, Ava Cook. Is it is it Cooks? No, it's it's just Ava Cook. Lumi's like, what is this? What's she happening? she she's in our community. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm familiar with her. And, and she's she's been running 30 miles like she's like a oh. marathon runner and, i saw this i love this and she was telling uh, our friend jake steinberg uh fellow friend of the of the show but she was telling him on his stream that to to get through a 30 mile run she listens to hidden power podcast so we have athletes we literally have the best athletes. community of all time yes Right, we literally have the best community. The best community. It's full of we athletes. Do. So be well, everyone. We love you guys. Beautiful. Thank you, Ava. Thank you. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Peace. Peace. Watch this video right Bye. here. See ya.